Yeah, I think uh, the first thing that you notice very clearly is that um, British government has been using the attack on the tourists in Tunisia one month ago uh, as a reason to create public opinion in Britain um, for bombing in Syria. And you think, well, the man who is accused of attacking the tourists in Tunisia, um, he had an assault rifle, he had some grenades, and you have to ask, and he had the motivation to attack the tourists, he had those three things. And you have to ask the question, did any of those things come from Syria? Or did they come from Libya? And we know from the um, Tunisian government, or we hear from the Tunisian government, that he probably visited a camp in Libya. But there's no suggestion that he had any connection to Syria. So the logic might be that if you thought the problem came from somewhere outside of Tunisia, you would think it would come from Libya. And then you find the British government says, no, this is a reason to bomb Syria. And I think the answer is because um, for strategic, geostrategic reasons, uh, Britain wants to get involved with the United States and other allies uh, in bombing in Syria. And it's, a, and it's an excuse. The attack on the tourists in Tunisia is not a reason. It's an excuse. And... I don't think that they seriously want to deal with the problem of ISIL as it exists because it's a very mysterious thing. And they define the ISIL problem according to their interests. And the problem of ISIL lies in the region. And it lies in, uh, first of all, ending interference foreign interference, not in increasing foreign interference, but in reducing foreign interference. And uh, that's what they don't want to face up to because they have interest in the region. So I don't think they are a solution to the problem. I think they are part of the problem and they are using the issue for their own interests.